I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be able to answer this or not. I see that the original Planning Commission approved this 13 years ago. And then I believe eight years later, um, there was an adjustment to change it from 16 lots to 17. And now, 13 years later, we're jumping up to 27. Is there a reason why it took so long? Is there a reason why we're jumping from 16 to 17 to 27? Probably the applicant could best explain their um, potential reasoning or, or the time delay. Um, from our perspective, you know, it's a it's a it's a design into just another permitted form of development. You know, going from the conventional subdivision to the cluster subdivision, um, the choice would have been a personal choice on the part of the applicant. So maybe if we wanted to know, they could come up and explain or. Okay. Is the applicant here? Mm -hmm. Hi, um, <clears throat> Tim Lustner with Lorenzi Dodds and Gunnell. Um, my firm did the preliminary plan revision for the 27 lots, so I think I can answer your question. Um, the original preliminary plan was approved many years ago. Um, there was a previous engineer involved who subsequently went out of business, so my client was stuck. He hired another engineer who um, finally got it engineered and took it to 17 lots. I'm not so sure what the reason was to go from 16 to 17. Um, basically, at the time, it was a conventional subdivision. The lots ranged from three to four acres. Um, a year or two ago, um, well, actually, those lots were recorded, and I think in your packet are copies of those recorded lots of the 17. It um, was permitted, it was bonded, and it's actually under construction. Um, so there was a development services permit issued for this road as it is shown right here. Um, a couple years ago when my client wanted to pursue the possibility of adding 27 lots, or added, adding 10 lots and change, changing it to a cluster, that's when I got involved. Um, to make a long story short, what we did was basically utilizing the same road that was previously approved um, under the same development services permit. Um, we decided to try to go out and do some additional perk tests, which of course we, we did. And um, what this plan does is utilizing the same permit, the same limits of clearing, same limits of disturbance, um, we added those lots change the forest conservation instead of uh, probably eight, uh, six or eight or ten smaller segmented uh, easements that were separated from one another. We put all the forest conservation on the open space, made large chunks, large bands of uh, forest conservation. Um, of course, those areas are protected in open space also. Um, to answer your question, the reason why we did it was to get more lots, of course. Um, that whole 13 year period that went in there, as I said, there were two other engineers involved. There, were, there was a recession involved when it was permitted and or ready to go in 08 or 09. Nothing was selling, it made no, sense, no financial sense to move forward with the project. And now when I got involved, it seemed to make more sense to make it a more environmentally sound project. Um, the stormwater management waiver that was issued with the original project was for the road. As part of the negotiation with the current stormwater management engineer, we've agreed to do ESD on all the individual lots. So this project, in my opinion, is a much more environmentally sound development. Um, I hope that answers your question. I did, thank you.